with what you've shared, Lee, how would then some current events, things that are going on right now, mm-hmm. uh, maybe demonstrate how leaders cut corners in their character and in their integrity? I think there are plenty of examples, not just leaders, but uh, just people in our culture mm-hmm. all around us. Uh, you don't have to look very far. You know, I was on a business trip to San Antonio. I checked into the hotel and there's a paper there, the Express News or whatever it was, and I picked, they're free, and I picked up one. In the, the first section of the paper, there were 14 examples of character violations uh, nationally and locally. Most of them were locally, but the one that was the headline was uh, lawyer pleads guilty to bribing the judge. <laughs> so, you know, it's just everywhere. It's human nature. Just look, think back about David, King David, who wrote most of the Psalms and was a man after God's own heart. And what did he do? He was unfaithful to his wife and uh, to another man's, took another man's wife and then had him killed when he didn't, the other guy didn't collaborate with cover, the cover up. So it's just human nature. We all have that capability to step over the line. And that's why if you look, you see it with students cheating. You see it with teachers cheating. We had teachers in Atlanta go to jail because they were cheating on the students' test because they wanted the students to make higher grades so they could keep their pay at the same level and not be downgraded. I mean, there you go. And it sounded like they wanted the ends to justify the exactly. means. And we're happy with that. Yeah. So they wanted to be make sure they get, got their raises and all that. And so they cheated on the students' test. I mean, that's the kind of thing that's it's widespread in our culture. It's not just them. It's everywhere. And... I don't want to live in a culture like that. It is, but I want it to be better. And I'm I'm guarding myself to keep from going that low. And it's a daily battle, okay? When tax time comes, I tell my CPA to get me as close to that line as he can without going over it. <laughs> so I'm getting one step away from being a crook or uh, a federal criminal, you could say, every April 15th. So we're all close to that. Yeah. We just got to guard. Uh, it's uh, it can happen to any of us thank you